All right, well, this video is for uh, Brad and John, but it's also for everybody else that sees my videos. And I've been working on this uh, cool jewel circuit for weeks now, and it was fascinating. And um, it's a couple of coils and an NPN transistor, and this will actually oscillate with the coils separated which uh, is different than the dual fee for blocking oscillator type circuits. This was different. But uh, when uh, Brad came up with this, this started out as a Bedini SSG solid state. And so I went back toward what uh, those guys are doing, John and Brad, and put this back into a motor configuration. And if you move the coil <coughs> back up next to this coil, you're right back to what I call the basic, basic Bedini. And that's what it is. What it is is the two coils next to one another, the NPN transistor here, and you can see the circuits are basically identical except for the placement of the coils. And the Bedini circuit, of course, they add a variable resistance in here. They come out here with a diode. And then on the SSG circuit, there's another diode here. But I tried this circuit a number of different motor configurations, and you can get a motor to run just like that with nothing else on it. Uh, it's tricky, but it can be done. And I found one motor that I really liked the way this circuit ran on, and uh, this was my little window motor that I built, uh, I guess, over a year ago. And what it is, it's magnets, uh, north-south, north-south magnets, put on a steel rotor. And this is uh, one of those uh, stator motors, I guess they call them, out of a copy machine. And it's gutted. There's nothing in there. And uh, I made a little window motor, uh, John Bedini uh, type of window motor, and uh, ran it on a whole different bunch of circuits, but I decided to run it on that basic circuit right there. And it did run just like that, but I added a couple things to it. I put a variable resistor on the base so I could control it some. And then I came off of the uh, collector where I had that arrow on the diagram with an LED just back to the plus rail. And the LED comes off right here, just goes right back into the plus rail. Um, basically to show that uh, when that field collapses, you get this uh, back spike, this flyback, which is what all the Bedini um, energizer circuits use. They use the collapsing of that coil and this uh, what he calls radiant energy to charge another battery on the way back. And anyway that's the circuit right here. Uh, I'm going to show this running on just a capacitor. Uh, this is just a, a 10 farad super cap with uh, about 3 volts in it. And you'll notice this will go into self oscillation here. See that on there right there? And I'll let you listen to it with the radio here. And I can vary the frequency with this. Now here's the fun part, is this will also run as a motor. My little friend Maggie here, the induction coil, she loves it. She thinks this is great. And without the radio, it makes no noise. And uh, you've probably seen this thing in a lot of videos. This is just a coil of 45 gauge wire with a bridge rectifier and a couple of LEDs in parallel. And it lets me see what kind of power is coming off of a motor. And I've used this little device, which I call Maggie, in many, many, many experiments and videos. And she likes this. <laughs> she thinks that's really cool. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, uh, show folks that uh, this circuit that I've been working on all ties back to the very, very first project I ever did, which was a Bedini SSG made out of a honey jar lid uh, for the rotor. And uh, that lid is how I got my name lid motor and that's the experiment for today thanks for watching